Hi guys, it's the King of Model Trains here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up your DCC layout and how to um, control your train, adding your locomotive and all of that stuff will be explained in this video. Okay, so now on to step one, which is setting up your DCC set. Okay, now on to part one. So you will get a, a small black wire that comes in your set and you need to put the, the one that has a black lead on it into socket A. I need to put the black and white lead into socket B. So as you can see on the picture now, it has track A and B. So just to verify once more, the black lead goes into socket A and the black and white lead goes into socket B. Okay, now I'll show you how to connect that to the power connecting track. Okay, now you need to put the other end of the wire into the power connecting track, but you need to put them in a certain way. So on the left hand side button, the big, the like grey round thing, push that down and put, put the black and white lead in. And on the push, and then release it, so then it locks, and make sure the wire is firmly locked in. And then push down on the right hand uh, uh, round thing, right hand, and put the black lead in, and then release it so it's locked. And then you are pretty much set to go. And then you just then you connect your um, power socket, the actual transformer and then you're done. If, you, if this doesn't seem to work and you have bits of the track that seem to be isolated or the power isn't going through the point or something like that, please view my other video on uh, track power and that will show you all of the tips and tricks and maybe some of the things that you're missing in your layout and how to connect the power and how to pass power through the whole layout. Okay, and now on to part two, which is making the train move. So once you've got your transformer plug in there, you're all set. Uh, your address of your train should appear on the screen. Uh, but before that, it'll say like 11 and 20 or 30, something like that. And then it will go into your train address. And now I'm going to show you how to move, set speeds, emergency stop, all of that. But I just need to make sure that you know how to put your transformer. So as you can see, my um, address is there, my locomotive address. And now I'm just going to go through all of the uh, controls. So this button makes it go one way, and this button makes it go the other way. The select button uh, allows you to switch locomotives. Depend so if you have two locomotives on the track, you'll have two numbers that appear there. So if I press, because I have quite a few locomotives, if I press select, change it to 09, which is my other locomotive. Press again, 04 with my other locomotive, and 02 with my other one, and 03 which is my other one. So yeah, 01. This little knob in the middle uh, controls the train speed. So if I twist it this way, as you can see, my locomotive is now moving. Then, if I twist it this way, as you can tell, my locomotive has stopped moving. Okay, and now I'm just going to go through some of the other uh, few things that you may need. Okay, so this red button, which is in bright red here, is um, an emergency stop button. So if you ever are uh, having trouble with your layout and you think that you may have a collision, or your train's going too fast and it's going to crash, or anything like that, you just push that and it makes the train stop very suddenly. But be warned, don't play around with this button, especially if you're going very fast, because it could actually damage your locomotive. Especially as you're going extremely fast and you brake, and then it just it could your train could actually go off the track. Okay, this function button um, 
is controls lights and things and stuff like that. So I'm just going to show you just a basic example of what it can do on my other locomotive. So I have, because this locomotive doesn't have lights, I'm going to change it to my 03 locomotive. So when I push the function button, the lights on my uh, class 37 locomotive um, turn on. And so you can basically set your locomotive uh, sounds, um, light functions, everything on this controller. You can function even accessories, which I'll be showing you in a future video. But that's just the, this. I'm just explaining the real core basics. So I'm not going to go into detail about how to um, how to control the lights and everything. But the function button is basically the lights. If your locomotive has lights, it will um, the core lights will be function, and the other lights will be like F1, F2, F3, etc. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this video was of use to you, and please check out my other videos. Please rate and subscribe. Thank you.